This is Gluff. And Gluff is your little frog-like character here. You stand on a battery, he charges up, and each one of those squares will paint a tile. The end to keep it's the music off. Uh, and that's it. You just have to work through. Load up with charge. Fill the tiles in. And when all the tiles are filled in, a door will open. And away you go. Come it with the music this time. The Gluffin Man, have you heard the Gluffin? Don't sing. Ah, disappearing floor tiles as well. Didn't help me get the ones in the middle though. Right, okay. Singing along to the music is not helping my focus and concentration. So, charge up again. Some central tiles that we want to make sure we get. There we go. Got all the colours done. Through the door, and there we go. It's a really, really nice concept for a vertical platformer. Now, it, it's missing a couple of things. There's no wives, for example. Uh, you just, if you die, you go back to the level that you're on. You don't go back to the start again. You know, you don't have to try and do three of them in level three. So it's kind of, you start playing, you kind of go forward, and you just see how far you can get. Sneak up there, get the last two, and I do love the fact that you've got to get to the door as well. It's not just a, well done, you finished it. It's like, okay, go off and do somewhere else. You know, and it's putting on a little pretend television, and it's got some graphics to give you the idea of a TV. There's the idea for charging. This is just a really nice diversion. Quite a Been enjoying this one. Difficulty level does ramp up. No shields or anything, you'll just die if you hit somebody. Let's just go for a complete fall. There we go. And there we go again. Could you forget it's a Spectrum game MPDL? I think this is where the homebrew scene has has come on leaps and bounds. We looked at Batald earlier tonight, um, which is from very early in the Spectrum homebrew scene. Um... Is it very early? It's 2007, Spectre's been out for over... Ah, nuts. For over 20 years at that point, so... But it was... I bet it's, it's very early in the sort of appreciation of the Spectrum online and distribution of games online and such like as well. Uh, what we've got now is we've moved on a lot. As we can see from this game, we've got scrolling, colours, the attempt to sort of... You know, if you look at your character, you've got yellow and white eyes, you've got a green body, you've got red feet. Now just for a minute, think about how Colour Clash works. One colour for every 8x8 square on the screen. And you've somehow beaten that in the coding. You know, even if you look at that platform I'm standing on there, there's yellow, there's red, there's blue, and there's black. So you've got this sort of just off-center in terms of the graphics to make sure that you can add much more color into the machine and you know there's lots of little tricks going on here I mean we've, we've got the uh, you know just even the, the feathering of the dithering effect that we've got in the corner of the screen here to give you much better curve to go through it's just fun Anyway, this is Gluff. Um, we'll dig out links for that one um, as we go through. I expect we're going to do a couple of clips in this one as we go through. Uh, but that there is Gluff. I'm out of charge. Dead. We restart the level again. So, 